and I know, and you know, and we know, we all know, the ghost lets us smell, it smells so well, my nose. Hi guys. I am bringing to you a candle haul today, and I made a purchase on line for the Colonial Candles. And I just got a few of them, so it's a relatively small haul. So first I'll just show the... but I'm not going to show too detailed the order. And then, I don't know if everyone knows this or not, but when you order online from Colonial, they actually send you a um, return instructions with every order. It's kind of nice, just in case there's broken glass, because a lot of times, especially in the winter, if you're ordering candles online, they can come to you either minimally cracked or, worst case scenario, shattered, and I've had it everywhere in between. So that's just kind of a nice little touch, because not everyone does that, actually. Okay, so I just got three in. Um, I've gotten all three different sizes from Colonial in the past. The 22-ounce, that's the really big one. The 8-ounce, which is kind of like their medium size, and then they have... Is it just a couple more small ones, or one other small one? I'm not sure. I've never gotten the small ones, but the large ones, they're good, but... Sometimes I feel like the best value is with these 8-ounce ones, so I'm going to start with this one. And I've um, gotten two of these scents before, one of them is a new one, and I'll talk about that when I get to it. So this one is one that I purchased quite a few times from them. It's called Tobacco and Honey, and the picture shows a honeycomb, honey crisp, melting or drizzled on a piece of wood. And it's a beautiful color. It's kind of like a honey orange color, I would say. Citrus orange color. And these are double wicked. And I don't know if you can tell by the, you can probably tell by the picture, it's a really nice hard paraffin wax. Really nice marbling and just a really great perfect wax in my opinion. This one is very complex. You would think with just the name, Tobacco and Honey, that it would just be Tobacco and Honey. It's, it's not. It's so much more than that. Um, I got the Scent descriptions here, so I'm going to read it. Okay, so it says, A central blend of tobacco leaf, amber, and white patchouli wrapped in carnation and honey. Golden hue adds a splash of warmth to any setting. So, with... It has tobacco leaf, they're saying, and amber, white patchouli, those are the dominant notes. And I, I would agree, but I'm going to let you know what all the notes that they're saying are in this. There's quite a few notes in this candle. So they're saying chamomile, which I definitely can smell that. Orange flower, carnation, honey, jasmine, saffron, I think I, I get that too. Gaiac wood, I get that. Um, a poppinax. And then in the bottom, they have tobacco leaf, which I do get that. Vetiver, I can kind of get that. Amber, the white patchouli, vanilla bean, and cedar. So there's a lot of stuff in this this candle that they're kind of like putting off is very simple. And it's just, to me, it is it is very complex, I will say that, but it has, obviously the, the main note is honey, and I would say that if you don't like super sweet scents, you might not like this because some people are really sensitive to honey. This honey is not like a perfumey honey, though. It's, it's And with all those other notes, you think it might it could smell perfumey. To me, it's not that kind of a honey. It's a really... It's an authentic honeycomb type smell. I get the... the um, uh, what do you call it? The chamomile, definitely, on cold snip with it. When this is burning, that's when all those deeper, darker notes come out more, like the, um, the tobacco and the amber and the patchouli and the cedar. To me, I do smell like all that kind of like coming together. It creates a really nice warmth in the candle. This is a really beautiful one, in my opinion. On cold, though, I mainly get pure honey and um, chamomile. So it's it's interesting. And I don't know how they do it. The way they pour their candles, it's amazing because they have like a lot of space it's like hollowed out, so the deepest part of the candle is in the center there when it's before you light it. And that's brilliant because then when you light it, it's going to 
you know, pool out more evenly and faster. The wicks are going to stay bigger, longer, higher. It's just a really nice system. I feel like Colonial Candle kind of has it down. Um, and I think, who was I talking to about this? Was it Smell Great Guy who does reviews? And we were talking, and it's like everyone else needs to take note of Colonial Candle, in my opinion, because they, to me, they're one of the candle companies that has it. They're almost perfect, you know, almost perfect. So this is a really good scent. I highly recommend this. It is very, that, that honey is very sweet, like sticky. Like it smells sticky sweet. So if you're not into like your sweet kind of scents like that, maybe this isn't, this one isn't for you, but they have a lot of great scents. This one I repurchased many times, or I don't know if I would say many times, but I repurchased it. It is very good and I do like it. I think I like it because when it's, when you light it and it's burning, you do get some of those like darker, deeper notes. They kind of come out a little bit more. Okay, so the next one is, oh my gosh, now this one I think I heard that they're discontinuing, unfortunately, and it is called Clementine Cupcake. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is so good. You want to know what this reminds me of? Oh my gosh, yes. Just a second. This one definitely reminds me of this. So if you like Better Homes and Gardens Orange Buttercream Cupcake, you are going to love this. Now, it is discontinued, I think, or retired, or they're taking it away for a while or whatever. Maybe, well, I don't know what, but it's down to just some more of these 8-ounce jars, a smaller size, and then I want to say, no, the summer snaps aren't available anymore. So it, it's just this the 8 ounce size candle, which is a good one in my opinion, and then a smaller size and that's it. Like everything else in the scent is already sold out. I highly recommend this. I have purchased this before and I really, really like it. It is orange buttercream is what it is. And it, you don't just smell the the frosting, you smell the cake. It, like it actually has that cake batter kind of a smell. And despite the picture, you might like see the picture and be like, oh, it's a citrus candle. No, it's definitely a bakery scent. So this is bakery all the way. If you're looking at Colonial and like wanting to know what's a really good bakery scent to try, Clementine Cupcake is really good. It's almost identical to the Orange Buttercream Cupcake by Better Homes, but I would say it's more authentic and it's more rich. Yeah, it's more rich, definitely. The Orange Buttercream Cupcake by uh, Better Homes is stronger, definitely, but it's got more of that citrus going on, like almost that Fruit Loops lemon mixed in with it. Um, so this one is more like straight up orange, clementine, cupcake, frosting, and cake. Awesome, awesome smell. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> That's really good, actually. Okay, so let me see if I can... Get it so I can show you guys the picture and I'll read the okay so this one says a yummy citrus treat of rich cake batter and clementine slices topped off with a dollop of sweet frosting exclusively sold by colonial candle so and this one doesn't have individual notes like the other one does like the other ones do but very, very, very good scent. Highly recommend it while it lasts anyhow because, like I said, it's on its way out, unfortunately. I like this so much where I feel like I might want to go back and stock up on a couple more of these. Oh, and that's the other thing. That what prompted me to get this little haul is right now Colonial is having, I mean, they have sales a lot, but right now these 8-ounce jars are normally $15, which isn't really too bad of a price anyways, but they're half off. So they're like $7 right now, or 7 25 or 750 or whatever so that's a pretty good price for this candle because like I said in my experience they burn flawlessly and they throw and they're just great candles so there's clementine cupcake highly recommend it really really good especially if you're a bakery person and I know there's a ton of bakery people out there now this last one is one that I have never tried, but the reviews I've seen on it, I've recently like uh, finished watching the full reviews of them, and well, I'm just going to show what it is first. It is Colonial Candles Rosewood, and I mean, I've always like seen it, and you can see the picture there, it's like 
picture of a big bouquet of roses. So, you know, I have nothing against florals. I actually like some florals, and I actually prefer roses over other florals. So it's not that the rose was deterring me, but um, when I was watching a review, someone said that this does not smell like roses. It's more of the wood, the rosewood. Like, you know, there's a really a, a wood that's called rosewood. It doesn't smell like roses, but it's just the name of a wood. It's a very warm-smelling wood. And that that's what this mainly smells like. You do not smell a lot of rose. You smell more of the wood. So, of course, that's right up my alley. So I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to give it a shot. And I'm so glad I did because this smells incredible. Love it. It's kind of, I don't want to say perfumey. It's kind of got that, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Powdery, perfumey kind of a smell. It's, I mean, I get the, and, and whoever, I can't remember because I think there's a couple people that reviewed this, so I don't want to say the name wrong, but I, I do agree. I smell more wood than I do florals, which is good for me. I think the person who was reviewing it, they wanted more of the florals and less wood, so that's what got me to buy this. So one person's loss is another person's gain. So that's the nice thing about us all being different. And the, oh, I'm sorry, the, I didn't show the wax. The Clementine Cupcake is like a bright orange, like a citrus orange color. Get it together, Scott. <laughs> and the rosewood wax is kind of like a dull, almost like a brownish plum color. You want to know what? No, it's not quite plum. More like a, a mauve, like a brownish mauve color. Yeah, mauve is definitely the color it is. Oh, smells amazing. So let me get to the description of this one for you guys. A lot of you may already know about these, so... So this one says, Romantic Dune Rose and Dew Misted Greens create a sophistic floral aroma. But the notes, they're saying the top is a herbal citrus, middle notes are tobacco blossom, and a rose. There's where you get your rose. So it's not just rosewood in this, it actually has the oil of a rose, the flower. And then the bottom is where we have the um, guyac wood, and they're also saying it has a balsamic kind of a vibe going on, which is, you know, slightly kind of herbal... Uh, watery kind of a, and rose has that effect anyways, it can kind of smell watery. To me, I just get that guyac wood, that's that's the main note that I get, maybe a little bit of the tobacco flower. And then you can, I can smell the floral, which there's, is the rose, it's the only floral they're saying that's in it, so, um, great, it smells amazing, love it. Definitely glad I took a chance, and bought this because this is mainly a, uh, a wood scent. So don't let the picture and the color fool you. It's not a floral. It's definitely a wood, a wood fragrance. Really, really great scent. Okay, so that was just my little mini small 8-ounce colonial candle haul. For that price, I mean, it's, it's really good. I mean, I think for this whole order, and then I think their shipping is like $9, you know, was what, like $30 maybe or so around there. So, I mean, to me, that's a pretty good price. Well, no, it would be a little bit over 30 but it's a, it's a good price for these candles. They're two-wick candles. They're really hard paraffin wax, so that's great. And I've had really good almost the best experience with these candles as far as performance goes. So, And they throw, which is always nice. So I'm probably going to do reviews on these candles to get a little bit more in depth. But I think that's it for now. You guys have a good day and smell well.